Hello, welcome back to the most recent weekly episode of College Boy Tyson. It's a We're Halloween on. special. Halloween, yeah, the Halloween is coming up. I don't know, maybe I'll put like a pumpkin on the thumbnail. I don't my, know what I'm gonna do. Got, uh, my party got canceled, so no, <laughs> no plans anymore. The most I did, I, I went to a truck and treat, tr- trunk or treat last night. It was crazy. My entire, everyone I went with, which is just my family, m- my dad and my little siblings, they're all dressed up as shit. But uh, I, 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 it was oh, put on the spot. Fit. Yeah, I was put on the spot. On me. I didn't have nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so we we uh, all my, my 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 two little sisters were Tinkerbell and like the Snow Princess from whatever the hell Tinkerbell is. My little oh, brother Elsa. Elsa. My little, my little brother. Was Dino Charge Red? <laughs> he had a little Dino Charge Red outfit. A little, uh, a little, a little late, a little behind the times. Um, and my dad was uh, a <laughs> Br- Bruno Madrigal from uh, Encanto. I thought you and were I- Bruno Mars. <laughs> and I was chilling in some gym shorts and my JoJo Stone Ocean shirt. With the <laughs> That's clear you were, so you were a JoJo fan for Halloween. Mm. Yeah, I, I had to take all my little si- kids. Oh, fuck, I can't speak. You got little kids. I had to take all my little siblings around the the little little trunks so they can get treats from the trunks. And, that, and then eventually, I had to start sending by the trunk of our car and handing out candy. But a lot of kids, kids are, are very are why very they, funny. Why, wait, why was it? The, why wasn't it door to door? It's trunk or treat. Like the whole thing is the like, did, did you give? We, we set up all of our cars next to each other, and then we we give candy out the trunk. Seems like a lot of coordination. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's an event. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't do events. <laughs> yeah, oh, the kid, kids like the kids have a lot of variety in their costumes. I saw oh. Mario. I saw the blow up T Rex co- costumes. Uh, I, saw, I saw a goddamn Spider Man. A lot of kids like to be Spider Man. I saw the Mighty Morphin Red Power Ranger. Thank uh, God. The fucking Akatsuki from Naruto were there. It was crazy. I look like an Akatsuki member. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, we shall know pain. Jacob, is there anything? Is there anything we we got before we get into? Um, let's see. Uh, what's what's an eat? We got a uh, we got Comrade Black. Coming out on Blu-ray next year. That's There's a lot of announced. stuff coming out. Like, uh, what's was it? Cool. Disco, what's their name? Discotech Disco, or something? Discotech. They. Got, I'm. Uh, I'm actually very happy they're bringing both Digimon Adventure and uh, yes. just the dub too. And then I think. All earlier, Blu-ray I think quality. The same week or same day, their their release of Space Sheriff Gavin came out. That is crazy. One. I think they have Just Beyond too. Gal Geiger. A lot, of, a lot of my friends are excited oh, for Gal excited for Gal Geiger. Gal, I'm excited for Gal Geiger. You know the you know the thing of like oh Persona Five fam excited to play Persona Five for the first Got time. Local right? Geiger fan. That's me. Like... That's me. <laughs> local Geiger fan. I mean, speaking, I mean, the, 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 that joke is coming back around. You know, Persona Five just dropped on the Switch like literally a week ago. True. That, that, that's crazy. You can't believe the Switch then, can actually run that. And then. Okay. They, uh, we're reaching the end of the October month, you know. We're all looking for, for, uh, towards October because of so much content coming out. And Disco Tech pop, popped on even more. And then, of course, Power Rangers news as a whole. We, yeah, we got, we got a little bit more about the 30th anniversary. We got to look at Cosmic Fury Blue. He looks like a Blue Ranger. He he certainly <laughs> does. He he has a little little like Mega Man Tricera blaster on his arm. He's got a little. Yeah, I like the the gun's cool. I like the the weapons are nice. I like the weapons. I appreciate them. But the important thing is, yes, they revealed the rest of the returning the, cast. We got Rocky. MMPR we got we got reunion. we got Billy. We got Cat. We got the Stone Canyon trio. Everyone's happy about that. Adam. Is finally back. Adam is back. I heard people say that Adam is wearing an SPD outfit. He's not. He's wearing. Okay, so it turns out. Turns out that doesn't. It's not an SPD badge. It says SPA. So like, so, Space uh, Patrol Alpha. <laughs> I don't um, know. I, I mean, know. maybe maybe in the continuity, Adam has started a new SPD. 
Well, maybe we'll... May, maybe they're adapting Q-Ranger in some shape or form. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so they, funny. They, they, they pull up with the Q-Ranger suits. <laughs> they somehow, Adam has started the Q-Rangers, the Power Rangers, Cosmic Brigade, I don't know what the hell they want to call them. Cosmic Brigade. <laughs> but yeah, we even got Trini's daughter. I, I'm glad Ashley is back. I'm very glad Ashley is back. Aisha, you mean? Aisha? Yeah. Ashley's from In Space. Ashley, oh wait, no, wasn't the actor's name Karen Ashley? Yes, her name's Karen Ashley. Yeah, I keep thinking Ashley, Aisha, that's, that's the name. <laughs> I think about her actor's fucking name. No, but I'm, you know, I'm biased because it's Johnny and Bosch, but I'm very excited now. <laughs> they, they reeled me back in. I was doomed posting for weeks. They reeled me back you, in. You think anyone is finding out just now that the Johnny Young Bosch was a Power Ranger? Because, like, he's gotten so popular as a VA. It's, you know what's funny about that? I... I, I went to, when I, I was driving home from a con one time, and we were talking about, like, voice actors we wanted to meet. And I was talking about Johnny Young Bosch, and I was like, oh, yeah, you know. And, like, you know, I was like, you know, they know, my friends know I'm, like, a Bleach fan. So they, they're like, I'm telling them about, like, what he's playing. They're like, wait, he played, he played so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, wait, he played the guy from Gurman Logan? I'm like, yeah. He's like, wait, he was a Power Ranger? I was like, that's the most obvious thing. That's what it is, he's his face. I think a real was, life it, actor. It was, it was a long of those conversations, but overall, excited. Yeah, uh, no, not, we we entered October excited for so much shit to to come around, and now we like with October is ending, and uh, we're excited for even more shit. Mm. It, it'd be crazy. I think I, I think that's it for news. I don't think I had anything else. I uh, feel like I had something else, but I don't remember. It doesn't. It must not have been important. Obviously. Well, I'm pretty sure when when is Halloween? Is it on Saturday? Sunday. No, it's on Monday. Monday. Wow. Well, yeah. this is this, this this usually drops on weekends. So you know, happy Halloween from College Boy happy. Tyson. Be safe. Uh, check, check your check check, check your, your candy. candy for yeah. uh, bad shows. Yeah, check your candy for Razor Blades and Common Rider Zero One. Uh, that, was, that was a funny meme for a little bit. I like that. That was a funny meet when then it got turned against you. <laughs> no, no, we, I, I won that. I won that post. <laughs> <laughs> and and the biggest reminder I can give is that uh, costume slash cosplay is not consent. Don't be doing crazy shit, especially Touchies. college boys. No, no, yeah, the court. yeah, we don't endorse. We, we will have a college boy Tyson. We will fight. We have a Cho have Cho a P- superhero. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a PSA for college boy Tyson. <laughs> stop it stop it get some help yeah. fuck them kids so, no not like that <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> today on college boy yeah. tyson we're talking about geats episode eight eight episode eight i think so wow <laughs> already wow. close to, to to ten yeah we're uh, gonna double digits too Ugh. jacob what did you think about this recent episode of common nerdy geats the "Quote unquote end of the final round," even though it's not the end of the final round. I would like to say I was right. They pulled some bullshit. Kawa didn't win. And, mm-hmm. uh, no, it was a very good episode, actually. Very good. Kawa development, I appreciate. And uh, the fight scenes were great. I love him getting boosted at Ninja. That was sick. I love how Ninja was just like, "Yeah, screw you, Ace. I work better with him." And, uh, yeah, I, I I like the I like the like the difference or the reason that, yeah. that they gave of like oh someone like Ace or, or Buffa wouldn't really sacrifice themselves <laughs> and Cable was fully willing to. I like how they I don't know, you know the lo- does that logic work with a ninja? I feel like it doesn't. But uh, that's just my interpretation of it. Ge- Ge- Keith said that's how it works. So I'm not gonna fucking say they're lying. I can't, I can't argue with them. Ace was, <laughs> Ace was like, uh, the way of the Shinobi is to sacrifice yourself for the sake of the mission. I was like, I right, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, I play, I saw Ghost of Tsushima. I know what I know what Jin did. Uh, the thing that the, the, the boggled me, n- small nitpick, because I remember I, I said this when we were watching the episode live of like. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole thing of like, oh, aren't you afraid of getting disqualified, buff, or like getting a penalty for 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 trying to hit hit another player? He's like, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't care. And it's like, okay, why does that matter though? It's not a points game. It's a yeah. Ho- <laughs> it is, it is. I, I, was, I remember we were talking about it during the app, like when it was aired, and we were, I think, I, all three of us were like, that doesn't really make sense. 
Like, this is what, what penalty, will, like, will he kick the cannon and just be like, no. Ah, uh, your foot's you, 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 broken now. You hit a guy. You didn't get to kick the can. No, well, that's, I, I think oh. it feels, It's. I feel like it's just kind of like a thing they have had to mention. Because yeah. people would have been like, oh, well, why didn't he get a penalty? Well, I guess it's still, it's like, why didn't yeah. he get a penalty? But I think. It's better well, that they addressed it, I guess. I don't know. I, I think it's a weird. I, I it think weird. it ended up being a little bit karma though, because it, it's so funny how Geats kicked the can so hard that Buffa also went flying. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he yeah. shows up and he's like, "I kicked the can." And he's just like, "He didn't even touch it." <laughs> Bro was not involved. But it's also, a, like it, it brought up a good point. It, it, it brought up a good point of like, how does so how does exact who does it decide who won? Because, like, Ace kicked it, and then Nago kicked it, and Ace was like, I won, because I kicked it first. And then it's like, well, you guys wouldn't have been able to kick it if not for Kawa, but he didn't obviously touch the can, so he's not really in the conversation. Also, I, I don't know I don't know what he what he said in, like, actuality, but I like how the subs kind of changed the line, or translated the line into, I'm not gonna fall until I've saved everyone. Then after <laughs> he saved everyone, he literally fell. So, you know, it's crazy. That's what we call poetic oh uh, but uh, but like also like just kamahori yuchi's directing they actually it sent they good. they sent that guy through the air <laughs> that wasn't cg <laughs> he jumped buildings they, they crushed that car too they they, they, they yeah they love to show that off in the production notes they're like, like look at this fucking guys. car toei has enough budget that we could destroy one car what was i gonna say I enjoyed I enjoyed the bit of um I re- I said this on Twitter I really enjoyed Kawa literally limping out and then Ace is like oh I know what this fucker's doing like I really like it I appreciate that it's like Ace is like oh wait I do care about this guy what the fuck is he he's gonna go kill himself Re- again you know I I took it as that but I also took it as because like he's I took it as start. weird fuck him you, no, I no I took it as a <laughs> because like. It wasn't just like oh he 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 like his he slowly turned his head to follow Kayla with his eyes like no, it's like a little like like they had a little weird sound effect and he suddenly turned his head as if it was like yeah. he sensed something. I was like, did he sense the monster was here before the guy called it? <laughs> ah, it's 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 funny. Uh, I I uh, like the, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of getting hit with the can. <laughs> A lot of uh, a lot of what I can talk about is just like things I really found funny this time. Like I like I, I, I like in I the like di- this is a difficult episode to talk about when they like it's when they bad. when they first show up to to go fight the guy and and, and Buff is just like, well, it's you or me, Geats, and Nago's just sitting right there, <laughs> like completely left her out of the, of the conversation. Kyo, like Kyo is limping, Nago. I'm still gonna say my funny way of saying henshin, guys. And it's deadly, it's deadly serious situation. I, it, it's really funny that after the like, I honestly, I thought Kawa or, or at least Neon was gonna give like some sort of like, you know, a like Kawa pep talk. Yeah, like like so, something nice of just like you know, a Kawa. I'll hear you out, or I'll I'll I'll, I'll see what I can do. But it's just like, fuck no, no I still need to get my wish because like after 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 everything, where it kind of seemed like they were becoming friends. <laughs> It's like just uh I got to I got to get I got to get love myself dude I don't need you Also I I Ballin pointed it on Twitter before getting uh people mad of just like it's kind of funny how how all of them are like Kawa you're being selfish <laughs> <laughs> especially Ace I Honestly, think it, the sub the subs make it so much weird. funnier The subs make it so much weird. funnier of just like well how about let's ask you if you and your sister were fine would you be fine with the rest of the world dying <laughs> you see how you sound <laughs> you're so entitled Kayla. it's just like what the fuck he's, he's just going off on him and then Kayla's like fine yeah i'll do it myself i'll sacrifice fine, myself whatever the little uh. <laughs> the bit of uh, this is random. I just remembered the bit of boost just nodding at Ace when it leaves. <laughs> oh, I I got we have to talk about I guess the big thing of of this episode, and it's that Kawa, the secondary writer who has felt like the main character for the past seven episodes, is out of the game. 
He'll be back. He will be back. But what's funny is that the recent scans that showed off, like... He just not in them. Yeah, he's just not there. <laughs> I was talking about this with Chris. Shout out, Chris. Shout out, Chris. And, Peter, shout, out, and Chris. Peter. shout out, Peter. Chris mentioned... Yes! Ding! We did it. We checked it off the box. No, but, um... Chris was like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get the messages before I... Before I just yell at him for a second. Let me see. But yeah, oh. the, the scan show a lot. Yeah, basically, Chris was like... Chris posted a picture of the, the, the drill and propeller, like, box, or, like, the toys. And he was like, why is K on the box? I was like, because he's coming back. He's like... Chris is like, but he just left. The scans didn't indicate that he's coming back. And I was like, he's the secondary. They're going to hide the fact that he's coming back. I think that, and like, I thought some people were being kind of like, oh, man, they killed off the secondary? Like, no, they didn't. Like, I get, he's coming back. He he didn't die. Uh, From from what I, apparently what I found out, even though they specified how it works, people still think getting retired means you die. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i saw you, I, I, I forget who you were talking to but i saw you and like i think it was icon on the timeline and icon was like was it i, I think it was you and icon i forget but it, it, it's usually me and icon icon was like but it's, I, you, icon was like but it says game over on the website it's like no he retired it's it, was it you it was either it was icon and somebody i forget I don't remember, but Icon was just posted a picture of the website. It was like, but it says he, it's game over. And it's like, no, he just retired. Uh, but think, uh, it, it, it's really because like the scans, the, 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 the earliest the scans had, I think, was like episode six with Buffa's Buffa Boost. So mm-hmm. I, I feel like this has to be obviously the next couple episodes because. Next episode is the it has like encounter F like the final so the, the the game is ending this week, yeah, and so next week or like probably the next time preview maybe even at the end of the episode you might see new writers or like new players getting recruited, yeah, and maybe Especially see Kayla are. again. Also, think, ooh, wait a minute, oh thoughts. What are you, I, cook, I, what are you I, cooking? I know they said like if you die. You don't come back like everything else does, but what, does that imply to injuries too? Like if That's the da- what... if the damage gets reset, do you get your 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 injuries reset, or because you're a rider, do you just not get that? I'm thinking. Here's what I think it is. Here's what I think it is. This is what I think it is. Why did I say that three different times? <laughs> the point is, I think <laughs> I think that so he gets injured. Yeah. That's not really his. I guess it is his fault that he got hurt. But what I'm more saying is, it's not like yeah, it, the the Jamato beat him up. <laughs> yeah, the Jamato beat him up. It wasn't like you know, and it's also they literally go, "All right, dude, you're too injured. We're gonna retire you." But I think that also implies like they can bring him back. Like they for it's not like he wanted to retire. They forced yeah. him to. So it's like he can come back. I feel if they like they. I think they're gonna like make us exception or they're gonna do something where it's like. Oh, actually, there's a rule. If we forcefully retire you, you can come back. I've had my theory about it ever since the thing. Did. I talked about it on Twitter, which mm-hmm. led to the me and Icon to, to like, like me and Icon <laughs> conversation. But I uh, basically my big idea was like there has to be some kind of rule in the Grand Prix that if you lose in the final round through retirement or just like losing because someone else won, like as long as you didn't die. You can go to the next round. You like you. You can play in the next Grand Prix, because and, and, and that's solely and that's solely based on Buffa being around again. Because <laughs> because he 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 lost. Like the website says he lost. Everything says that he lost the first game. But but he but he's still a player. And that would also lead because I I feel like now now that Cable's gone, I definitely feel like Ace is just gonna win next this this week. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see Ace's wish, which is you know that's the big mystery of everything. So obviously mm-hmm. Ace would win. And so, just like, okay, that means then Buffa and, and Naga would lose. But obviously, I don't think they're not going to be in the next one, because they're still the main four characters. So, I, I think it's going to be like, oh, since you didn't die, but and you were in the final round, you're basically close, you, you get to play again. Because aside from it, that, I don't know how else they could bring Kawa back. I think, I, think, I think it could be either what 
Honestly, I think it could be either what one of us said. I think it could go both ways. That they're I, like, oh, special exception, or literally, it's in the rules that if you make it to the final round, you can come back. I, I think there is something else that that could be a factor a for like an option. entirely third option. Yeah, and that's something I I, I kind of don't want it th- this to be because I think it'd be interesting if they saved it for another character that got retired. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. K what, was still himself back in. K was still has the phone recordings, like his oh. phone still has like today's like day three of the Grand Prix descending us as couples to go fight shit. Like he's gonna he's gonna see all that. He's gonna be like, what the I hell? What is this? <laughs> what, what, where, where is this? Why am I in this weird place? So he's gonna see that. I don't know if he's gonna do something about. It. Maybe he's gonna mention something like. I don't know if you talked about it in the recordings of like, oh yeah, I know Ace Ukyo and Kurama Neon <laughs> and Michinaga Azuma. <laughs> but just like, I feel like maybe he's going to like see the phone recordings and just go off. I could see. And, and, and try, and try to go find people. I think that'd be a good, I think that'd be a better option if that was later in the show. I don't think for this, like if he comes, you know, he's obviously coming back because we know because of a whole bunch of other shit. He, like, he's, he's got a power up, but not the point. But I think that'd be not, a better save for like. But I'm saying I'm saying uh, I'm saying I w- I'd want that for another character because I yeah, feel yeah, like I agree. I feel like it'd be interesting if like say. Oh, like someone got his recording. Like, like so, they didn't make so, their own. Yeah, something like that's that, cool. or a, a situation, something, uh, something that got me thinking with with all the retirements of like when their drivers drop, and usually Samuri has to pick them up, and we saw in the scans that there's gonna be like a common writer Jamato. <laughs> Oh yeah, with a with a Jamato cool. raise buckle. So so there has to be a situation where like someone got retired and like a Jamato picked up the driver or stole one. Mm-hmm. Either that or like someone becomes a like a Jamato common writer, which I, I don't know. That'd be weird. I think it'd be cooler if a, I I like monster writers, so so I want a Jamato to become a writer. I like it. They got like a plant thing going. Like, yeah, theme. They got like because like the the big boss like looks like a cactus dude. But on that same thread. I think it'd be interesting if, like, someone got retired and Samuri somehow forgot to pick up their driver. So, <laughs> so someone in the, like, Jamar area, like, picks it up. And I think it'd be interesting since, you know, he's not dead. He's still out there. It'd be interesting if Depan got caught up in a Jamar area, like, he's getting attacked by Jamato and sees a rider get retired and just picks up their driver and somehow remembers everything. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm mm. keeping this. That sort of leads into what I was going to say about, um... Not to, like, change the subject completely, but, like... The go ahead, scene go ahead. of, um... Uh... What's it? Oh, Kawa's sister seeing the flashback oh, of yeah. the parents. What do you think that's about? Do you think they were a part of the Grand Prix, or do you think they just got caught up in it? My... I, Ace explained... I, I think it's supposed to be, like, something Ace said in the previous episode. Because mm. Kawa was like, well, can we save them? And they, and they put such an emphasis about, like, oh, yeah... We can save them if we beat the game, but, like, if we don't beat the game, then, like, the damage doesn't get reset, the monsters kill everyone, and they don't get brought back. So all that means is that Kawa slash Sara's parents were caught up in a Grand Prix, got killed, and then all the riders proceeded to fail. (laughs) (laughs) Which also brings up a weird question of, like, so, it, like, if they did, if they didn't get brought back and they just died because all the writers failed, then Ace wasn't a part of that one, right? <laughs> the whole, the Ace, like, when did he join the Grand Prix thing is probably, like... Because like, that, that, that leads me to think, that, that leads me to think that what Ace said is for, like, f- like further thinking that what Ace said in that, t- that time was a lie. I don't know. I, the, the, I don't want to call it confusing. I guess it is, but I'm trying. It to is a little like, confusing. It, it, it's it, it's hard to word what I'm trying to I say don't, about this. I don't because like I don't think it's a timeline thing. I think it's just like a like a mystery with Ace. Mm. Because they you know they they're clearly establishing the whole thing of like well is anything he said really truthful? <laughs> and we <laughs> have all the, all this we have all this stuff everything. of just like. Well, like Kate, like like she's Kate. Sarah is not that old, so you know her parents must have died. Like I don't know, maybe ten years ago, or within the last decade. Mm. You know, it's crazy. We don't know whether or not Ace was there. And then we had that other flashback of like, oh, 
This one time there was a Grand Prix where the same monster killed everyone. And it showed yeah, it a flashback like of like, yeah, times. yeah. <laughs> so it looks like Ace was like only like part of the Grand Prix like for a couple years. Yeah. I don't know. Because it's like, I feel like that whole thing is like... It's confusing, what if, but it's also not because I feel like it's not yeah. that big of a deal. You know, let me let me sense. let me present an idea. All right. What, do you what if what me? if he's Samurai Jack? What if he got sent from the past <laughs> to, <laughs> sent from the past to the future, <laughs> and he you got to get back to the past. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and fucking the the game master is. What's his? I, I was gonna call him Aku Aku, but that's the, that's I, the guy I, from Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I get back. Wasn't What's it just a? Name? Wasn't it just a Kuma or something? I think I don't remember. I'm not a. Look, man, I only watched season five. No, I'm Gotta get a back. Fraud. Back to the past, Samurai Jack. Right, Jack. That I, that, that 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 would be fun. <laughs> man, out of time. You know, you got me thinking. Like the gimmicks aren't really like. How do you go backwards? Like if it's it's if the Grand Prix's been around, have they just had a motorcycle? Just you know, <laughs> they, they invented motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, like maybe the I game master is from the future. <laughs> right. That's why he's got the. That's why you got a gold slot machine next month, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, the, the the next episode looks pretty interesting. Like oh. This is this is the, the 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 we know for sure this time it's the end of the final round. I think it's because weird. He's, they're there's a, with monster. There, there's a they're giant. Getting monster. There's a giant invasion, and the game like the I guess is like a little like trial. They're all getting eggs to carry. My assumption is that the eggs are 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 gonna hatch raise buckles. That's what I think it's gonna be. And that leads me to the question of how the fuck are these things made? <laughs> the, the, is there like a like a being that like hatches or shits out <laughs> eggs that it has raised buckles? They gotta incubate. They gotta incubate the little the little magnum buckle in an egg. Uh, I don't know. I it it looks like a, a, I hope they hatch into. It looks like buckles. the whole gift. The, 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 here's how I predict the episode will go. They all get their eggs. Michinaga and, and Neon eggs will hatch first and they'll get drill and propeller. And the entire episode, Geats is gonna be like, My egg is taking long. And then once it hatches like the the, the climax of the battle, he's like, Oh alright, it's cause it's a good one and fucking uses monster. It's like monster Yeah. Little stupid I, hat guy. I don't know how people feel about monster but when I first saw like that very first like scan with punk jack i thought it looked ugly as hell but i think it looks <laughs> it looks much better on geats tbh i like the buckle i don't like the the actual suit if that makes sense I, I, really I like funny. that it, i like that it kind of has gauntlets yeah but, i like the gauntlets i just I, like then it doesn't look like it suits the name is i guess what yeah that, that's what i said like i feel like i'd like it more if it just had a different name yeah yeah and monster implies to me it's gonna be grotesque or whatever yeah no, he looks I, like... I i even made a whole s theory so like oh monster's gonna be like it could possibly be relating to like the whole theory about punk jack in japan and no it's just a, <laughs> it's a it's a goofy little bear that goes night night look man he's snoring he's just like me i actually fell asleep bop his head this in. episode <laughs> <laughs> like i paused it and i dozed off <laughs> You know what's funny? I, I obviously Kayla is coming back, but like they, it feels like they're trying so hard to convince us that he's not. <laughs> it's it's like, funny like how how we I, talked I, in the I, show, I, like his last yeah. lines of like, "I get to go back to my normal life." Man, I don't think I'm cut <laughs> out for this. Man, I'm so glad I, my life is gonna be normal again. <laughs> and then Nagita's is like, "Don't worry, Tycoon. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll continue your mission." <laughs> And then you go onto the website, and, like, the producers are like, Man, Kawa's actor is so good. We wish him luck on his future projects or anything <laughs> else he does. And it's just like, stop lying to me. <laughs> he's not funny, leaving. Like, he's actually gone, and, like, it's a whole new tycoon or something. People like, oh. pe people are theorizing, oh, man, since Sarah touched the buckle, she could be the next tycoon. Yeah, totally. And also, people are taking that scene out of context where Ace is like handing her the ninja star and saying "tycoon." <laughs> it's like, no, she's not calling. He's not calling Sarah tycoon. He's he, he's like, yeah, Kawa, I'll, I'll continue his, your mission. 
He's talking about his business partner. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It'd be on the one hand. On the one hand, I feel like it's pretty obvious he's coming back. It's just kind of like they have to say that for like. I, I guess my general my audience. My I guess, guess my I guess my my big my my big my, what's the big idea? Uh, what's like the big, the big idea. The big question what's I the have abstract? is like, when is he coming back? Like, is are that because I, I feel like if this was any other show, this episode would be spent like wondering how K, yeah like wondering how K was gonna get back, and then the episode like next week's episode is gonna be him coming back. But like Geats has been so different so far that I feel like honestly I feel like he could be gone for the rest of the first third. I believe after this week there is a break, so we're gonna be without Geats for a week. Like I really, I really feel like we could go like maybe three or four episodes without Kayla. I think so too. I think I could see him coming back with the, just coming back with the command buckle or something. But or you know they're just hiding him in the scans because you know they they do that they just they they, they do sometimes. The scan the scans showed a lot though. We have, I was surprised. We, have, we have a couple new buckles, we have three new riders, we have a couple fight scenes of different characters using buckles. We got Nago Beat. What do you think of Nago Beat? What are your thoughts? I know a lot of people were initially put off because, like, oh, it's not gold or yellow to match her. But honestly, I'm really, no, no pun intended, I'm really rocking with it. <laughs> that was a pun intended. There's no, no one, shut up. I say that. I say that. That's a phrase I have. <laughs> that is in my repertoire. It is one of my catchphrases, Jacob. It you is, should know this. It's in my dialogue tree. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 fan. I love it. The, the thing is, the only thing I am not a fan of is the actual buckle itself. <laughs> I, I, th- I think really it is like really jarring that like the shoulder pads are kind of like an amp. She has a guitar, and then the the, the, bu- the buckle is a Fisher Price piano. <laughs> like I thought it was gonna be like a like a turntable. I thought like, that, I thought I thought that's what it was gonna be. I, I don't know because they're all toys, but like this one really looks like my it's my got, youngest it's got little sounds. My my youngest little sister would would love to slam this thing and like slobber on it with her baby spit. Like it really looks kiddish. <laughs> Actually, like, but uh, but I, I'm wondering how it's gonna like do you like. Do you press the keys? Do you do that little turntable at the top? Like, I think it'd be interesting. You gotta, you gotta play a riff from the theme song for it to work. But I'm glad we have another writer with a guitar weapon. I, I genuinely think the last... What was the last... Was the last one really Hibiki? Uh, like a straight-up guitar? Yeah. Probably Hibiki, yeah. I can't think of anybody else. I, I don't I, I kind of hope they reference Hibiki. I, I like, he, like, uh, Todoroki. I think that's just the writer. Like, his little finisher of, like... Writer stabbing stabbing the guitar into someone and then just like fucking shredding until they explode mm. i like that uh, too. i like him but also uh I, I shout out to peter again we're looking at it on amazon jp the website because you know they got the pictures of stuff it yeah, turns out not only things. not only can the guitar just like you know be a guitar she can also like wield it like turn it around and it's kind of like an axe <laughs> Kind of like Marceline the Vampire Queen from Vegetime. I was, I love that. that but amazing. also, not only is she Marcy, but she's Sora because apparently the guitar, the guitar, it has three little attacks and they're and they're thunder, fire, and ice. <laughs> thunder, oh. freeze, blizzard. No, he doesn't say blizzard. It, it's it's a like they have like little like little like guitar names too. Like I think there's like tactical freeze or tactical blizzard or in the rock fire that's cute i like that i i i can't wait to see nago go crazy with it <laughs> which means I, she's gonna get another focus episode maybe when she gets that i said this on twitter and it feels like this is just this is what i think it does feel like they went a little bit extra on her buckle because like she's not getting an upgrade for a hot minute or it seems like she isn't so i appreciate that you know, it's a little bit extra. I was kind of mad when we got when we got beat because I saw it and I was like, "Wait, what if it's visual storytelling? What if she's the only one that doesn't follow like the color rule of like, <laughs> oh my 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 buckle doesn't match my 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 ID core color because it's supposed to represent how she's breaking out of the rules and and, and her mom and then fucking monster came and I was like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> then, you, then you look at the, then you look at the 
the actual actual <laughs> you're like oh the main color is black like oh the main color yeah it's is black it, it's it's funny because like i i, I look i looked at funk check and it's just like and he like the the, the, the little all, all his promo images of him using monsters just him goofy in his there and like yeah yeah all right thanks don't laugh if it turns out punk jack's actually not a, like monster isn't actually his buckle they pull, I feel, they, imagine they pull some shit like it's not actually for him that'd be kind of funny if there was like a like a blue and yellow writer that eventually showed up yeah because they we still don't have fantasy yet dun, dun, the, dun, dun, dun. I think that's the that's the last big buckle aside from the the boost upgrades. Honestly, I, could be I, I hope they have a joke with that, like how in Saber, whenever Slash used uh, Brim and No Rock Band, he just completely shifts. Like, like, <laughs> bring, I, I, bring, like bring it back. Like I hope Punk, whenever Punk Jack uses Monster, he's just like the most violent person ever. <laughs> I hope he falls asleep, just cocks out. That would be funny. I well, love. <laughs> it's funny that I like that it just snores. I guess we we should talk about I guess I guess it's not really a power up per se, but it's definitely the first big thing. Well how do you feel about the the hyper fever buckle, whatever the fuck it's called? Um The slot. Cool. Hyper slot. Fever slot. I think it's neat. I like I like I like I think it looks cool. I like I like, the, I like that it goes along with like all the like the main four buckles plus boost when you like have yeah. the little slot. And it has like little like graphics on them, like oh you turn like a slot that. and it says like nin- you can get ninja, which makes me I'm really interested to see like, like how it'll work in the show, because how I'm picturing it is like they have the fever buckle, they slide it in, they turn the slot, and like whatever it gets like that buckle kind of just appears on the other side and they get both halves. I think I don't think it's a guaranteed like you get a duplicate. I think if you already have one on, you can get like a. Like a top one, so I think like if you have boost already on, you could get something else on top of boost. You get what I mean? And uh, then I think the thing, if you get a match, right, you get the gold, you get the like the the sash or the scarf or whatever. You know the that that the could that could be. Trash bag. I I would like if it was like oh if you get a match then you then you get a then you get the scarf. But I also think like I I, I like. If they're really doing video games, my favorite part of video game, like, 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 if trying to make it feel like a video game, my favorite part of any game is the bullshit gambling mechanic. And I love if that would be, <laughs> if, that, if that's what this is, of like, all right, I'm not going to use my, my normal form. I'm going to see what I get. Oh, shit, I got boost. Everything is okay. <laughs> oh, side uh, note, off topic. I just want free Discord Nitro. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Ed. <laughs> I hope that's not. Sc- I hope it's not a scam. I hope not. What if Ed, Ed got hacked? That shit has happened before. <laughs> <laughs> what Ed's gotten hacked? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, 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 his current account is actually Ed Two, as Aesthetic Two. <laughs> it happened back in like I think December twenty twenty one. It is Ed Stick Two. <laughs> it was really unfortunate. <laughs> doxed, doxed Ed's Discord name. Sorry, Ed. I didn't give the code out. He's safe. I forgot. SMH. Ed, Ed, Ed is the guy, though. He recently got me Splatoon 3, which I've been addicted to. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, Ed is the guy. I, 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 got, get, I guess Ed also... Ed, Ed is actually... Ed, not only... Has, shout out Ed. He, like, our little, like, opening intro graphic, he made that. That, 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 that it should be rocking. I got I got complimented on that a bunch of times from, from other podcasters and... Yeah, we're pretty cool. They call us trendsetters. Like, <laughs> and Ed has told me many times that he'd love to be on the on on the show. So you know, whenever Ed's free, this is a show now. Uh, the, I don't know. Yeah. Few, part the the cast, the show, the the, the airwaves, the business. <laughs> I'm gonna start. We're gonna start making merch. Hater Ma- wheel T-shirts. Hater wheel T-shirts. Like, and they all... get, no, it's got like the pocket one, and you got a little wheel on it on the yeah, pocket. Yeah. And then there's just going to be a obligatory Chris Mention shirt. Obligatory Chris Mention sticker, too. (laughs) Uh, Another thing I guess we could also talk about is the two new writers that are going to be joining the Grant that that aren't the Jamato one. The Sheep Girl. Yes! I'm surprised. I saw saw the the picture and I was like, I know we kind of had a situation during Saber... I don't know if you remember that. That, 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 that little arrow was really funny when we saw like a scan of the final battle 
and everyone's like, "Is Caliber a girl?" <laughs> and then, and then everyone was like, "No, just because she stands, like, just because they, the 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 picture like has has them standing like that doesn't mean they're a girl." Rintero stands the same way, and then it turns out it was <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> like it, it was a girl, <laughs> and now, now I'm looking at it again, and I'm like with 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 the new Mary recolor, and I'm just like. Is that a girl? Like, 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 like. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like if I say something on Twitter, I'm like, oh my god, it's a girl. Someone's going to be like, how do you know it's a girl, huh? Is it cause, it's because they're standing a certain way? If I fucking, t- Kawa has stood the same way before and they show me some picture of, like, some cool. shot. Cool. You K- know that, like, th- you know that thing, like, with Breaking Bad? This is a kind of religion. You know that thing of, like, Breaking Bad now where it's, like, like they, you know, they kind of. I don't want. What's the word? Infantize, like just, just. Yeah. Like, have you seen Breaking Bad? Do you know what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. No, I've seen, it, like, I've seen tweets about it. Like, oh, now since Breaking Bad's coming, coming back, everyone's kind of like treating Jesse Pinkman as their ooh baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like no, he would tell you to fuck off. It's like that's that's the vibe I get with you saying like, oh, Kawa stands like that. It's like that's what that reminds me of. That was. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's a, that's what happened with Caleb for, for the show. Oh he, yeah, he did win. He, he won uh, the pathetic thing. No, he was supposed to win. I forget what. It everyone was. thought he was going to be the super nice man on the planet. He he would he would lay out for everyone, and the show actually started. And he was like, "No, it's not that he's super nice. He's just an average person." <laughs> like, he he's a little bit nicer than the average person, I guess. But like yeah, now, he, now now he has uh, his resolve because he's uh, he's found his Nindo, his ninja way. I don't I don't know, man. He's kind of self-centered for only wanting to save his sister. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, it, just... you know, a part that I haven't really seen anybody talking about. It's really interesting how the how the like the butler guy was like so genuinely worried for Kawa. <laughs> I thought that was interesting too. He's like, he's like, sir, you can't. And Kawa's like, fuck <laughs> off, dude. But sir, you have but to stay, sir, you have to stay in bed. You that, can't. I'm actually. Who's your son gone? I'm really sad. A lot of people aren't talking about, like, just the random moments with Sumeri and the waiter man of just like, <laughs> they 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 really feel like normal people. Like the when when the final round like started abruptly and it cut to like Sumeri running onto the little stage like eating a pretzel or something. She was like, "Oh shit! This is the the game starting." I'm not. I was gonna. That I was. That I can't say that. <laughs> I was just I I was just gonna say I think she's just really pretty like like so down bad they 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 they, they, they you know both of them are attractive TV <laughs> the butler too the but, the butler is an attractive fellow I see I see it I see it he he's gotta, he's dapper they got a they got a it's a good looking cast that's all I'm gonna say also it, it's really interesting to see. Because, of, of course, Ace and Buffa have been in the game, so they still treat life and death situations like it, uh, it is a game. But I think it's interesting to see how Nago is starting to adapt to that mindset. Because, I mean, yeah, like, when, when, when Kay was giving their plan, and, and Azuma's like, come on, dude, I'm trying to win the game. And Kay was like, it's not a game! And it kind of seems, it kind of feels like Nago might have been considering it for a moment, but she still kind of phrases her reason for not doing it as pretty, like, not like i don't know it's not treating the situation like lesser than it really is like she's still she's still going after her wish i forget if it was after her episode with like her mom and stuff or it was i think it might have been this episode specifically but i saw some people like talking about like what kind of love she actually wants oh yeah i I, I started that conversation Oh, I t- oh, I t- sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry i'm sorry no i tweeted about it one day and then i i got people talking a tiny bit I, I I don't know. I like I like the interpretation that I, I saw. Of, oh, she wants like love and like how how just I said love, it, not how, like romantic love. Yeah, how I put it, I said like oh, I, I think it's valid if you think if you still think her whole thing is like oh, I I, I wished for only romantic love, but I think they've made it very clear, especially with with, with the scenes with with uh, Kawa's sister. And how literally in that moment she thought about Kawa's sister. <laughs> uh, 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 of just like, she means true love as in unconditional love. Unlike her mother who only loves her, quote unquote loves her, when she does what, what she wants. 
Like she wants someone that, that that loves her no matter what she does. I really like it. I think it's neat. And, and I I don't know. I I don't want to be insulting because like if I feel like if I go any too far in a direction with like a tone, it can be taken the wrong way or an mm-hmm. attack. But I don't know. I think it's really weird that pe- like some people are just like, no, she wants to she 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 wants to to to, to date someone. Like she really wants her prince charming. And it's yeah, just like that'd be, that'd be my wish. That'd and be it's, my wish. It, it feels hers. even though she says that at the start, I feel like that's the point though of like oh, it it, co- it think like it is, yeah, yeah then it's, it, it comes you off it, out. it comes off as this when we don't really know her that well. Mm. And now that we I actually like know what she's about, like oh yeah, it's actually it's actually this kind of love. Dylan slash Hawkeyes he had a had a I think an interesting interpretation of like it started off as romantic love until she truly started to see like people who would treat her nice like like Kayla and Ace and then straight saw like uh, uh, an actual loving family like Kayla was and, and like uh, so the wish kind of changed. I wonder That's if you cool. can like. You can make a wish, right? Mm-hmm. But like you can, you can like word it. Like once you get it, you can like go. Like you, like you can change the meaning. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like yeah, you can. You could. It writes down as one thing, but you actually mean something else. So I, I wonder if we could see that. Something like that's that, a lot of like, stuff. I feel like we're gonna get in, into that like kind of in the end game, maybe or in the last third. But we, I remember talking about it on the on, on the Twitter for like a like a day or Twitter. two, of just. What exactly, how, what do some of these wishes entail? Like, I remember I made a tweet of, like, okay, does Buffa solely mean, like, he gets a form? Or, like, what does he mean exactly by common writer? Like, all common writers, blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I think the biggest one for me is, what the fuck does world peace entail? <laughs> <laughs> like, does it mean no more bigotry, no more war? Does it mean no more death? Do people, like, just not die anymore? Like, what does Cable want exactly? No more world hunger. I don't know. No more... I don't know. And it's just like, okay. Like, if that does happen, and world peace is achieved, does that mean that the Desire Grand Prix would stop existing? Because, like, then the world... If if world peace happened, then the world wouldn't be in danger. They're gonna make something up like, Oh, the Jamato aren't of this world, so they don't count as world peace. That would be funny. Uh, how I feel like it could also be of like, yeah, you wished for world peace, but you didn't say you wanted a world peace forever. So you know, I was about, I was about to go. You wished for world peace forever. You just wished for a world peace, so the world set itself into a place of peace, and then it got crazy again. That'd be actually, that'd be kind of cool. He wishes for world peace, but it doesn't last mm. eternally. It just slowly devolves. That'd be kind of cool. And then Kawa has his Michi moment of like, damn, the world sucks. <laughs> damn it! I need to kill Kota and take his girl. I need to kill Ace and live in a pillow factory and let feathers fly around everywhere. I'm gonna tear off his fox tails because we'll probably get that in an upgrade at some point. I actually want that now. Now that I say, honestly, that, I've got fox tails. I everyone else seems to love it. I'm not really a big fan of that fever is just a golden scarf. <laughs> I. Like I, 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 I get the big I get the big appeal is that oh it's it's both sides. Like uh, one thing yeah. both sides, but like I wish it had something more. Like maybe like if the shoulder pad or like like elbow pads or shoulder pads had like golden stars. Changed, it would have been cool. Like the eyes change color like a, like a more like rainbow. That would have been cool. Like a rainbow effect if you get a match, that'd been sick. That that makes me wonder if like if Fever was gonna have a drawback. Because obviously boost like oh it seems like all the like the big big items have some sort of drawback like boost time. I wonder if it's like that's hmm because if you get fever right you can always like, maybe it, there's just a dud option you don't get anything. That would be really funny if it just like explodes on you or something. <laughs> I do wonder. That is a. I do wonder if there. Is what if, some sort of what if one of the new? What if like the like? What if like one of the new guys goes out like that? Like the old man owl guy. He's like, oh, I got the fever slot. He fucking puts it in. He explodes. <laughs> I wonder. Nah, these guys probably aren't sticking around because we already. Well, we have an idea of what's coming. It's. I, 
I, I, I remember so many talking Quarter about two it. listings. I'm like yeah. all over the place. I remember talking about it a while ago on on, on the cast, but like, of I uh, one of the big things I guess I was kind of excited for is just seeing like oh how many times is the world gonna reset? And how much how many new cast members are we gonna get every time? Yeah, baby, so, we're on one reset, and we're getting two more people. Start the counters. Yep, that makes me really wonder of just. Are there, are there, is it always just going to be two? Or like, are they going to go crazy one time and have like, oh, four new guys? Like, I, I like that, that's what I'm worried about. Because this show has I, been good, but I feel like one of the resets they could just do something and it could be it it, it, it could it could muddle up stuff. No, what I'm think I'm thinking one of the resets we're gonna they're gonna get like something's gonna happen with like the overlords of the Grand Prix or whatever that's made up. I'm just saying like you know whoever runs it right. Our four main guys are just going to be, like, too good to a point where the, the other the people in charge are going to be like, just take him out. Just don't put him in. in. So I feel like an arc, an arc would be kind of cool of, like, our four main guys trying to break back into the Grand Prix somehow to, like, stop it or whatever, it, what have you. I feel like that would be kind of a cool direction to take. But I do feel like... There's gonna be like two or three, maybe one or two more resets, maybe three at most. But I, think I know, one or two. I know Ace is gonna win, but like I thought of something just now. What if Neon wins and like when it resets, nothing happens because Kawa, <laughs> Kawa's her friend. <laughs> I think that'd be really funny and sweet and funny. <laughs> he goes back to the soba shop. With the old man. Got yeah no I I just uh, I ultimately I, I guess my final thoughts on Geats to wrap it up. Kayla is such a, I it's it, it's it's very nice that he's becoming a fan favorite because I I think the writing that backs him up and all the stuff around him really he deserves it because also I are the we, the actor is also amazing. Are we eight for eight? I'd say we're eight for eight. Damn. I wouldn't. I, I still wouldn't say this is the one like the best episode so far, but I. It, it's definitely up there. It's definitely up there mm, so far. I agree. Especially in terms of the action, like seeing seeing Kate like the the, the buckle fly onto him in the midst of the fire. That, that, oh, that was cool. That, that, really cool. You want to? This is this is a nitpick before we finish off. But I didn't like how the buckle flew onto him, but he suddenly didn't have boost on anymore. I thought that was like. This is a weird choice. I get you want that big boost scene, but you, it's, you know what? You know what? You know what? It makes me think about more now that we see like all these different like form changes. Mm. It still boggles me why Ace said Henshin a second time. <laughs> 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 like it, it's really like it's really like that one episode in Saber. <laughs> like like why that, did they do I it? Will, I'll never get over that scene in Saber of them two doing a having, them two doing a dra- dramatic speech. Not doing anything else and saying henshin. Then they take out all their gimmicks and then say it again. I don't know why that was that was hilarious to me. Oh, uh, uh, I love these. What shows. a good show, Saber. Oh, Saber was good this week. You're right. Saber was good. I miss Saber. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're eight for eight. Come right, Geese is pretty good. Uh, stay stay good next week. Uh, I I can't wait to see what Ace's wish. Honestly, that might be the week? that might be the biggest game changer. Like like maybe Ace wished for the absolutely most crazy thing. Like the song, game changer. It's fine game game changer. Yeah, and they, and they and they play the song at the end while the game master yeah. takes off his mask. And it's Dan Carano. Exactly. Yay! God, I, re- I really hope they don't drag it out of like, oh, he takes off his mask at episode 34. I hope, 34. They just don't care. I hope like, <laughs> nobody cares. They're like, oh, okay, whatever, dude. It, it, it never mattered who the game master was. It's about the game, not the master. Uh, but now shifting over, I guess this, this kind of fits a, a Halloween episode because th- this is certainly a, a scary, scary little, 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 little piece of media little, here. Little, little romp. A little, a little violent, a little, a little gory, little, little mid, frankly. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. I'll preface. I'll preface this for us both. I'm assuming here, so correct I, me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen it either. Don't worry. I haven't seen <laughs> me neither. I, haven't, uh, I, I just know there's no I, ha- I haven't Lula. seen. That's it. It's weird because, from what I hear from people who have like already finished the show somehow, 
The first half has like nothing to do with black, and then suddenly they start trying to reference the original show. <laughs> All I know is at episode 10, they reference the old opening, so I'm forcing myself to get to episode 10 so I can see that, because I think it looks cool. Um, I, I So I guess to, I, to do a little preface, if you haven't seen yeah, Kamen Rider Black, preface. Kamen Rider Black Sun is the reimagination of Kamen Rider Black. It's on Amazon Prime. It, it, it's, it's, it, it's, in the same, it's in the same vein of Kamen Rider Amazons, how that was a... A more gritty, a more violent re reimagination of the original Kamen Rider Amazon in the Showa era. Black Sun is the same thing, except in my opinion, it's it's way more violent. I think it's off the bat way more violent. <laughs> I think they're, they're they are they're way more like trying to do something with this one. Amazon's was just kind of whatever. Like, so a I think a it's I feel like Amazon's leaned away from what Amazon was about not that i know what amazon was about i don't know for, for, so, it's crazy because amazon the original show got canceled so it just seems like the show is just about some guy who's illiterate beating up random yeah, monsters and cutting their yeah, head he's off just, <laughs> he's just <laughs> the jungle doing shit and then they like, and then they adapted Toronto that to like head. two men one's an amazon beats with human dna one's a human with amazon dna and they have like this real bit like r complex dichotomy about about humanity and society. There's a mole. There's a mole guy, and was, one of them eats hamburgers and yolks or whatever it was. And in season two, Banjo Ryuga's there before he was in Kamen Rider Bill, which is really and interesting. The, the 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 Amazon who was the human. I don't actually know which one. Amazon's is really funny. Honestly, it's a really funny show. So I I, I, I love Jim. I, I dropped it. I never finished it. I, I I would recommend that you pick it up solely to see Jin's story because Jin, like it's funny that Jin is like yeah I'm the one protecting humans and for the entire show he's just getting shit on in the worst ways possible <laughs> he loses he, his family he bit, goes blind he bit his wife had Nia born in the movie he's he's not he's blind like, anymore but he also just gets beat up by everyone. <laughs> Yeah, and they got they got a they got a go go five guy there or something. I forget what it's it was. A, it's okay. He's he's Decker now. He no, he's he left already. Damn it! <laughs> well, he might come back. That's a whole thing. We should talk about that show one day. But yeah, to to finish the preface, this is yeah spoilers for episode one and two of Black Sun. I I heavily recommend you go support the actual thing if you have Amazon Prime Video. It is now it's it's it's, it's totally out international. Didn't. We totally didn't. Well, we totally uh, saw that. Like, we I, totally. I, I don't know I what totally happened. You know, my prime account. I woke totally up. I woke up yesterday, and for some reason, I had Black Sun early. I don't know what happened. I don't. I don't. I. I. I just. It was beamed into my head. I don't know what happened. I. You know, <laughs> I just had it. I so just, yeah, it was, go it was watch. On. Go watch Black Sun on Amazon Prime. Uh, again, like I said, it is very violent. It it deals with heavy, very extremely heavy topics. So you know. Viewer, heavy viewer discretion. But it's okay, because we watched watch it. it. We yeah, we'll, yeah. Tell, we'll give you our <laughs> it's okay. opinions. We watched it. We watch it so you don't have to. Call it Boy Tyson. I think somebody else says that line. I, I think that's a stall credit. Is that actually what he says? Yeah, I think so. I'm the stall critic. I... No, it's I remember it so you don't have to. Ha! Screw you, Doug! Uh, so Jacob, uh, anyways, what did you think about the first two episodes of Common Rider Black Sun? The thing we've been waiting for ever since that weird 50th anniversary press conference. I mean, I mean, what do you I think? I don't know, man. It was fine. It's it, it was one yeah. of the it's one of the big three things, you know. It was one of the big things. The third we, we, ah! we, we were waiting for Futo Pi. We were waiting for Shin Kamen Rider, and we were waiting for this. And then all the posters, all the, in my opinion, uh, the marketing for this show before it came out was really iffy. But, I actually thought that first trailer was quite good. I because like they made it very clear what the the topic they were going to be tackling from the first trailer. And then there was the whole thing that's like stopped Kaijin hate when those shirts came out, and everyone's like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> you know, I suppose I should get right into it. They showed a lynching. They lynched yeah. a Rhino guy. Why? Why? I didn't need to see the burn of yeah. Rhino guy. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't. Oh, it, it, like, I, I, I have I, a friend. I, I have a friend named <laughs> named Dom. 
and Hi, my my friend Dom, he enjoy like I I wouldn't say he like not not not, not to enjoy he enjoys seeing uh, acts of racism being carried out, but um he enjoys pieces of media that like have depressing messages and in general the world is fucked. He likes Fire Punch, Tatsuki Fujimoto's Fire Punch, and Chainsaw oh, Man. Whoa. Chainsaw he, Man pacing. He's the one that that put me on to those things, and both of those are just the world is effed up, and they show it in the like the wor- like the most messed up ways possible. And so I remember after watching the first two episodes, I went into call with him and be like, "Dom, this is for you. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like this one, this is your show. It's about a main character." Oh. Oh my! I, you know what? I'm gonna put so many trigger warnings in the fucking description of the, of Blap. this one because there's so there is so much. Like I genuinely can't tell if it's like to tell a message or if it's just like they wanted shock factor. I don't know him addicting to cat him being addicted yeah. To it's uh, funny. It's I was I, so shocked. I, I paused it. I was and flabbergasted I for a solid minute. I was just, I, like my he dro- opens a bag. My jaw <laughs> dropped. Like like it's. It, I, I I wouldn't say it's funny, but I think it's a little comedic. I mean, it's a little I comedic mean. how well, like he opens up the brown bag and they zoom in just so you can read the words ketamine on all the boxes, and it's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I I don't it, know what to talk about with this show because this I, like I. <laughs> It, it's not what only do you want me to, not, was a guy. Not, not only the, not only have do. neither of us seen black, but it's just like this show. Not only doesn't really feel like it has anything to do with black, but it's just its know, story. They, they shove the Kingstone in a kid. I don't its know story is so do. off the rip. I felt this way. I, I honestly, I I felt this exact same way when I read Fire Punch. Of like, I remember reading it in call, and I closed the manga, and Dom was like, "What do you think?" And I just didn't talk because I didn't know what to. <laughs> I didn't know what to tell him. Like it's, it's fucked up, dude. But like, I, don't, I like it. Honestly, I like it. <laughs> I, dude, that's that's the weirdest part. I came out of it and I was like, did I like what I watched? And I was like, you know, what? I gotta say this. That first episode was not was not it. Not it. I, I I definitely think. I don't want to call it boring. But it was... It's... I don't know. It was uh, nothing. Episode uh, 2 I, was better. I liked episode honestly, 2 a lot, actually. Honestly, it's hard to talk about it because, obviously... More than zero one. one honestly. More, the, the, the racism plot is the focal point of this entire show. Like, even more than, like, all the stuff with, like, the lore of, of Nobuhiko and Kotaro. Like, this is obviously the main plot of the show. So, too. it's unavoidable to talk about. Show, I guess. What's really funny to me is, like, the whole, the whole thing. Like, the whole plot gimmick they introduce of, like... There's this edible goop stuff from the Creation King called Heaven. It makes it, it makes us not age. And it's like, oh, you didn't take it, Kotaro. And it's like Kotaro is like a seventy, like fifty year old like looking man. And in turn, and Nobuhiko looks like he could be the secondary writer right now in, in an average common writer a show. Handsome dude. I'm he he is a nice looking fella. I think that's a really like that, that that's the that that's the dichotomy. He's he's the foil to Kotaro. Because Kotaro is just a a baggy old man. (laughs) I'm not gonna lie. This is this is related to my tinfoil comment, I guess. But like, their monster suits. I get like, oh, it's a reference to Bada Man. I don't care. They're kind of mid. I'm not trying to be rude. Honestly, I'm not trying to say mid to be like, uh, it's bad. But like, I don't know. I think the rider suits are cool. I like. In my opinion, I think the show has Amazon's beat when it comes to like having horror monsters and horror-esque I looking agree. writers i agree i think Am- amazon's felt like I, I obviously chris has a ar- arachno obligatory chris mentioned chris has arachnophobia and that first monster guy just sprouted out spider legs i thought it was gonna be like an awkward looking cg mess of him just kind of shuffling around but like the actual dude i was actually fearful when he he moved fast as hell like it was really it was, it was so creepy just seeing him move around his spider legs how do you feel that, um... I get, no, keep going, sorry. And it's just... Oh, uh, especially... Like, uh, like to, to put into perspective... I, 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 I... The first real bit of gore I account in Amazons... Is a fight with... The Dragonfly Amazon, I think that was... And, and uh, Omega. And it's like a whole scene like where they do like an anime, like... Clash. And you work to see, like, who falls first. And it's a really zoomed out shot... 
Or, like, you kind of have to squint, and you'll see that, like, the dragonfly dude got, like, cut in half. And it, like, I don't know. Amazon, for some reason, makes Gore feel, like, really weird. Like, um, I, Gore, Amazon Gore is weird. Like a, uh, in general, Gore is weird. But, Amazon feels like, uh... Well, like, I don't know, like... How do I word this? I never it's really... What, like, it's I never like cringe. kitty gore. I never it cringe. Feels like kitty gore. Like, it's I, over the top. That's Amazon. This I, feels like natural gore in Black Like, Sun. I may... Out of the entirety of season one, I never really cringed at Amazon's. There's like, there's nothing that made me wince. In general, like someone else could probably wince off of it. I, I just didn't hit because I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was the filter. I don't know if it was like the Kool Aid blood that they had with like every attack. I th- it, they are over the top. I think that's what the difference is. It, like the not the blood isn't even like red. It's just black and, 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 <laughs> and it's just like oh man. And they had look at this gnarly shot of Omega ripping off this oh. dude's arm. And it's just like, okay, the, the, like, it felt like the average writer season was allowed to do gore. <laughs> That's, I've, exactly. That is exactly it. This, it's like, it's, this is like, all right, you like, can do whatever it felt like it, chill about it. Honestly, it felt like, it felt like it was supposed to be something else entirely. And then like, wait a minute, this could be common under black. <laughs> what, the, the show, it's just like, they're just like, ah, I guess we can put yeah. it back. Chris, Chris kind of, he said it when we were, when we were watching it, of just like, it, this feels like this became Kamen Rider Black later on after the concept was created. <laughs> because it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a Kamen Rider show. Like it really doesn't. Like even more than Amazon. It, it really feels like something new, something different, something like, 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 just, it, I, I don't know if I'd call it a breath of fresh air, but it's definitely some different kind of air. It's, it's a, it's, I was about to do that. I was about to say it's a different kind. It, it's not. Uh, I, I don't know if it's more polluted or less polluted than what whatever we got, but like it's definitely they, something uh, else. They, they put they put something in that water. They got the filtered air from from they the can, Lorax. Yeah, O'Hare air. <laughs> they got they got the. But got oh the my god, like. With Amazon's, it was just like, oh man, ooh, that 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 guy got cut up. He's not getting back up. When I saw Black, gre- like break off the Spider Dude's arm, and then Mortal Kombat shoves his hand into his stomach and pulls out his guts. Now, I, I, oh my god, like I, how do you feel that they are? Um, they're taking a a Gecky Ranger approach and just having okay, we just got some animal dudes in some human clothes. How do you feel about that for the monsters so far? Honestly, so far? we've only seen two I, episodes. Good. This is different. This, I, 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 even though uh, we're not including episode three, I have to say it. For the most part, I think it's really convincing. I think because uh, 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 I, 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 I feel awkward going into this with you. <laughs> but, wow. but like you know the, the, the whole the whole racism thing i was very skeptical at first i made it very clear on twitter uh in general just follow my twitter if you want to see me go into like talk about this shit more of what i think he, about he, how that he, he, he talks about the racism i talk about the everything he, he talks about the mid <laughs> that doesn't even make sense why did i say that jacob jacob talks about the mid stuff uh talking, yeah i do talk about bleach <laughs> yeah. but um I, I think the fact that they're like it's just humans like human actors in animal costumes really helps out the racism metaphor because I agree because w- what I what I was worried because in general I I don't like races like like fictional racism things where the oppressed side can turn into literal monsters I think that really like it, it usually sets me off immediately like I like where X-Men is like okay they most of the time they still look human but they have powers like like they're 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 not insane or some, or something like I don't know shit like that, mm-hmm. and, and I I just like that it's like, that yeah they can kind of like turn into monsters but like it's not like their clothes like burst off or something and they have like reptilian it's bodies not on straight it. up it's not like straight up like 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 like, 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 like the, yeah they turn into like the it's monster like were- of the week like, they got like a werewolf kind of thing going yeah. On. Yeah, they 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 they're just normal people that can turn into people sometimes. I actually, I, I agree with you. Actually, I actually. And most of the time, thing... it's convincing. But in episode three, there is a shot where like there's it's a lizard guy, and they show it from like the bottom, and you can see like the the, the Halloween mask line around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it is really funny. I was dying. I just, I think this is like, I want to call it oh it's racism better done because that sounds terrible but like no I'll say this it. Is like <laughs> Go ahead, I said please. it. I said it on Twitter. I 
even though it, it, it comes with the trade-off of having that scene in the beginning of episode two, which is tough, but like yeah, Black like Black Sun handles the racism topic better in two episodes than Zero One did in forty five episodes plus three movies. I mean, do you really count real? Oh, it was four technically. I forgot it had another movie. I, I don't no, realize, realize it's met. You, so you, the third one can be swapped out between Realize and Ray with Jen, whatever you feel like. Realize was a good movie, you're right. Real time. Anyways, yeah, they, I keep, keep calling whatever it Whatever it's called, who cares? <laughs> Sorry, but, Chris. I, it's, Anyways. I don't know, I, 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 I've been thinking about how to word this a lot, because I feel like it could be taken as a bit of a disingenuous complaint, because I feel like the first immediate thing people can, can use to discredit whatever I'm saying is like, well, Zero One is a kid's show, and it's very clear that Black Sun is made for adults, so they can be more upfront about 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 racism and stuff. And obviously, I think it is, but it, it, the the benefit of it being eighteen plus really helps because not only, uh, and this is a big thing with me when it comes to like a fictional racism story, not they they don't pretend like other things like other bigotry doesn't exist. Like in Episode Two, they're like, okay, yeah. The, we, 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 the, the, I was surprised to see how many black people were actually in this show. Like, like it fucking shocked me. Like, Oliver oh Johnson. God, Oliver. I love Oliver <laughs> Johnson. I love him. Whenever whenever they cut to the 70s and he's like... I love them in the 70s. They should have they set the show in the 70s. I'm not going to lie. It I is, love the aesthetic. No, it is really funny to see, like, oh, one, one scene Kotaro is, like, kind of just sitting, probably... Like drugged out or something, and then it cuts to the seventies, and like Nobuhiko and Kotaro have parachute pants. They're helping out the little. <laughs> they have their seventies yeah. Showa Rider like cuts. The, Nobuhiko's got like the the flow. He's got the log hair. They they turn into Showa Riders. It's really funny. I I think they look real. I I really love. And I and I love Oliver Johnson. And I love uh, Aoi's friend Nick with the dreads. He's 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 fun. Thought, he's nice. He, this is a weird comment or compliment, but the dreads looked really nice. I was, I, I was like, homie, yeah, homie, got nice hair. He, he, he drippy. He, he, he be drippy. <laughs> and so, it, I, I was just surprised to see like, the, the, they're, they're, they're prominent black characters, and like they, they talk about that like, oh, not only do they discriminate, uh, discriminate against us because we're kaijin, but some of us get like even further discrimination because of different skin color, different g- gender, sexuality. Like, like they, 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 they did not hold back. And obviously, mm. I don't think they could do this in Zero One. I'm not expecting they do this in Zero One. But my problem with Zero One is that they beat around the bush so hard that when I bring up the like the whole racism thing to people, they a lot of people have told me unironically that they did not pick up like pick that up from the show that it was supposed to be about oppression of like some kind, even though there was a protest, even though there's all this different stuff. A, a, a lot I of people apparently didn't that. pick it up. I think it could be a different... I think the difference could be... This isn't like me disagreeing. I, I want to make that clear. This is just like me thinking about it. I think the difference could be this is a, like... It is explicit what they're doing here. And I get yeah. it, like, oh, it's obviously shoved in your face. Yeah, and but like, that's, that's the thing. One, it's like... I, I know Z- Zero One... You don't one... see like going, oh, we want Humagear rights. We want... Zero One... Matter. None of them do that. Zero One I is... a single time that Humagears do that. No, they're actually... They're, they're, that's the weird thing. Because there they are scenes where, where that stuff happens... Like, like, there's literally a protest in episode 44, but, like... Uh, well, that's because of... I get... I yeah, it's because, Cause like... that's uh, Horobi going... That's Horobi's influence. So yeah. So I guess that's... Well, not really. It's a, the whole thing of, like, oh, Jin, Jin was killed by Aruto, even though Jin had really had nothing to do with the situation, so they're just, like, are, do our lives matter to the to the person who literally creates us? Like, like, like it's all stuff like that. And I, I understand Black Sun has the benefit of, of being 18+, so they're, they're able to do it more explicitly. But I still don't feel like they give Zero One a pass for being so like. It, it, like it feels like they 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 try to find every single possible way to avoid saying words like oppression or stuff like that. Mm. And I, I get those might be I guess, like I don't know scary words like I don't know what they are and aren't allowed to say. Like obviously they probably can't say racist, but I feel like yeah. I feel like there's just, there's simply better ways to portray racism to kids without saying it and i just don't feel like zero one did it 
Because instead, what people took, and then and, and, and people, oh, I, I've been told it so many times by, by random fucking Twitter Zero One fans of just like, <laughs> but I didn't pick that up from the show. I thought the message of the show is that everyone can be bad and everyone can have malice because, like, the arc and everything was like, no, but that's stupid. <laughs> they, they, they do it in such a stupid way. And it's like, oh, it's the point, but it's a stupid point nonetheless. Exactly, and it's like that. Okay, yeah, but that that has nothing to do with like how the human gear are literally oppressed. They're they're literally slaves. They're they they they're they're born just to be workers, and at the end of the show, nothing happens. In which, granted, I could get to episode ten of Black Sun and maybe like they they fumble the bag completely. But in episode like two episodes, they they very clearly establish, like okay, what's happening is racism. Like I was surprised, and there's like a scene with with Aoi and her and her friend, like her 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 penguin. Her penguin little, little what the, I forgot what the race is called. Kaijin. Her little penguin kaijin friend. I love that dude, by the way. He's fun. He got his eye popped out. Episode dude! Two. Yeah. Oh my god! I, w- I was so scared that he was gonna die. I was just like, no! Because, like, well, she stomped her foot down. And I don't know why. I just expected, like, his head to just burst like a balloon. Like, I was so <laughs> scared. And then his eye popped. Ugh, ugh, it's, it's, it's nasty. Okay, you want to know what I appreciate? And I think you brought this up. Yeah. They at least have the monster form to, like, justify it. Do you get what I mean? Like, that sounds terrible. But you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the difference between this and Zero One is, like, okay, those guys are just robots who look like people. But these guys are, like, people, but then they can turn into terrible monsters. Is it's you not, know what I'm it, trying to say? It's, it's not exactly that, like, the monsters are terrible. I think... This does, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm calling him no, terrible, like... No, no, like, you, you, ah, you've, uh, you've enabled me to have a, another point. What what people think <laughs> Zero... What people think Zero One was... This is actually what people think Zero One was. And the fact... This and, is, and, exactly. and, they, and they did it better. Because the whole thing is that Aoi... I, I think she says this even in episode one of just... No race is bad. It's just that every... every audience and every group has bad people but those people don't represent everyone and that's the whole thing with the kaijin because of course mm. you have the main villains and a lot of them are kaijin but like I guess the, the head of it all is the prime, the human prime minister <laughs> who, who, who is heavily assisting and, and, and calling shots and and, and like is he, he pretending to care about kaijin kind and really he's just using them like every 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 side every group has bad eggs and and everyone, everyone of any skin color, ethnicity, ba- anyone of any background, can be a terrible person, but it's not because of who of like what they are, it's just who they are. And Zero One tried to do that, and it failed. Real talks <laughs> here at College Boy Tyson. For real, and that, and that's the whole thing with 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 with, with the Black Sun. One out and post with, it out of context. It's it's why it's why. I, like even though, even though the, the the scene like it can be extremely graphic and and honestly, I am still wondering to this very moment whether or not some scenes are there solely for shock factor. But I, <laughs> God, but God damn it, I will stick out because it has offered a better message for for common writer than Zero One ever has, and I have been waiting for something like this. So I am I at the very least the show can be mid all at once. I am grateful that it has at least done this. <laughs> Note, we don't hate Zero One here unless it's about Zero One's racism. Don't... That didn't make sense. Cut that out. No, it's okay, because I hate Zero One. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying there. But I, what I was trying to say was, we're not just trying to hate on Zero One. It's kind of like the only comparable thing. It, it's, a, it, it's the main thing that, that has done, like... Ta- has like, tackled this issue. Yeah. In of a any sense. Sort of, ta- Takahashi likes doing this stuff. Yeah, because he's, he's totally right in Black Sun, too. He's pulling double duty. I actually don't know who wrote this. He, uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that Black Sun has... Black Sun not only has tackled the topic, but has done it with, with more nuance, more care. Like, the they, 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 actually, they actually have people of, of other ethnicities slash races, like, not only a part of the cast, but I, it feels like they're, they're, they're... It feels like this was written by a diverse writing room. Mm-hmm. Like it really feels like they had other inputs that wasn't just people who are who who look like them, which yeah. I th- which I think is the biggest difference between this and zero one. Which, which I, I guess that could that could also be fuddled like or what what the fuck did I just say? That could also be accounted. Be fuddled. It could also be like like sourced back to just oh Toei, 
man, they so Takahashi couldn't couldn't write it good because toys forms. We won't, I, I, this random guy who wanted the job arc to be longer for some reason. <laughs> And so it's, they 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 they're, <laughs> they 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 have they have more freedom they have more 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 just shit to do and I am just I am here for it I just hope it doesn't get any worse with some of the imagery <laughs> We're gonna come back We're gonna like come back to the show like should yeah, should should we know. should we talk about this next week? Should we finish the show and come yeah, back next week? I don't know. I don't know, man. You, you said you know. said you wanted to get to episode ten for the for the thing. Yeah, but like that's ten episodes. Maybe I don't know. We'll see if we'll, we'll see if the people we'll, like we'll see how we're feeling. How we see how we're feeling. Well, the people will definitely give us opinions on if they want us to. I talk I, I, I I Twitter has been loving Black Sun from what I've seen. But but for Twitter, I don't agree with Twitter most of the time. <laughs> it, it, it it do be like this sometimes. My, my friend, my friend's like in love with the show. She's like, why don't you like it? And I explained to her, and she's like, L. Something like, something I it. noticed. I didn't notice this until actually watching the show. But like something, I I wish Amazon's did. Amazon's did this kind of, but it really kind of just like cheaped out. I like that they have a kaijin form, and then there's a writer form. I. I thought that was interesting. Could they kind of do it in Amazons, where like Haruka has like an Amazon form, and then like but the that, belt gives not, Amazon he, Omega. Like, goes into that first. He gets yeah, the, it, it, he, it's he like gets a the belt, and he stays at the right. It's like a berserk monster thing, but in this one, it's just they can turn into that, and then like they can they can hench in with the belt and then turn into a rider. I'm curious to see like, I thought it was <laughs> this is a. Off top, I thought it was funny. He just can't transform because of pollen or whatever it was because of the flower lady. Yeah, uh, that, 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 uh, that's funny. I don't know how to descri- I didn't know how to describe it when I watched it, but I know how to describe it now. It is some Showa era shit. Like that, that is that is what, some really just pollen in the air. Fuck, I can't transform. You can't transform, Black. I have flowers in the air. <laughs> Except, oh, oh, except it's being played totally seriously with a straight face as the monster is crushing got, a little penguin he got the, dude's he head. He got the web on his hands. <laughs> In episode one, I was like, all right, he can break out of this. He like does. He struggles to do it the first time. I'm like, come will, on, dude. Sh- okay, come every, on, buddy. Every fight in this show shocks me with how violent it gets. Like when Shadow Moon decided to take the flower monster... And it's just like, just oh my god, is he is he half. is he trying to is like uh, at first I thought it was like an Amazon's thing is like oh my god is he trying to like eat her or something, and then no, he just uses all the strength in his jaw to tear her in half. It is, oh my, I, I, I was shocked. I, I I was I was I was flabbergasted. I was I was hooting and hollering. But no, I am I. That's the thing. Even if I'm really shocked by some of the scenes of the show, even if it's hard to watch, even if some scenes are hard to watch, I like the characters. I kind of love the characters. TBH. I like. I, I, got, I think I'm I need more. For the only, Kodoro. the only, yeah, the only guy I, 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 like I, I the only guy I don't, I don't love is is Kotaro. Kotaro, A lot of Kotaro's scenes have me really iffy because they, gotta, they, because they, they, going hasn't done much yet. I yeah. Think it is. Also, going back to the whole like racism thing of just like again, it's it's really it's really nuanced topic. So there's some things they do that kind of rub me the wrong way. Of just like, I guess the lore of the kaijin as a whole. Uh, that I, I think that for me that'll be the make or break. Hmm. Because depending on how they treat it, I mean, it's it, it could really be bleh. But but as of right now, I, I'm rocking with it. I'm really rocking with it. I I, I I like how raw the action feels. I like I like. Doesn't I, I, it filter. doesn't have the Amazon filter. I'm <laughs> grateful for that. <laughs> I was like I I actually said I was said to my friend I was like the lighting in this is really nice. Like it, I'm so glad it, it doesn't have an ugly filter. It, it does not have an Instagram filter for for the likes. It it, it is it is the, great. They got, the, they got the Titans blue filter on. It's just it, it feels it feels genuine. I like that like uh, Kodoro. Kotaro is such an interesting main writer compared to all the like the the young guys of different personality types. Like the most like I guess the meanest we've got is I guess Tendo or Ace. But like uh, we we have a we have a main writer who is old as shit and is homeless (laughs) and a drug addict 
and lives in the middle of nowhere on a deserted bus. <laughs> I, I love my battle hopper. It was a dusty old bike. I thought it was, I, I like that little like difference like Nobiko getting the bike out and then it's him getting the bike out Nobiko's like patching it up this guy yeah I'm just gonna ride it straight up it's fine it works fine and I I, I like Aoi because it cause it seems like she's also a pretty important main character she the, the, I saw her, I saw her clip and I was like whoa the the, the human right. the human girl that is advocating for for kaijin rights. And then Koder. I have Kaijin. Dude, friends. I was okay. so that 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 one line actually really rubbed me the wrong way. But I'm <laughs> I'm really glad by episode two she they, she was really fixed up. I was so shocked when they had that scene. There was a scene of like the Kaiji her Kaijin friend getting kicked out of a cafe, and like the lady's like come back again, and she just like completely like drops the nicest of like I'm never coming back to this racist piece of shit cafe. I hope you die. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> Like, good for her. Pop off. But I did not expect that. <laughs> Saying this all to a 14-year-old, too. Good for her. She's educated. I was so shocked to just see, like... Honestly, that, like... I, I know we, I, for a while we've been like... I hope we need a main writer who isn't nice or is mean. And we've been getting that with Ace. But in episode one, where Kodoro... Not only is Kodoro picking up his, 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 his daily Ketamine dose of ketamine... Squad. But but that but get over him. <laughs> but but the but, but then the the lady is like, I need you to assassinate this fourteen year old little girl, and he's like, Yeah, shit, all right, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> like like, oh my god, I, oh, Kodoro <laughs> Kodoro has me has me shocked and surprised with almost every scene, and then but it's okay because he protects the he protects the girl now. Nope. And they have a always, fun they, always, they have a fun dynamic. Always. They pull the uh, old man protects adopted daughter trope. Good job, common rider. Finally hit that one. Do they? I don't know. A little. God, bit. yeah, but even oh, even God, I just I I think that's the biggest thing I can talk about. Even though like it, I'm more so reiterating, but just this show is violent, dude. Like this show really just has me so off guard with every little bits of of violence they have. What are, your, like, what are your thoughts on uh, Mr. Shadow Moon? Not to cut you off. Noble Hiko. Do you, do you I don't think anything of him right now, honestly. Because <laughs> I, I, I was confused of what exactly he was supposed to be as a character. They had this they, guy locked up. Because, like, the first thing he has is just like, man, I don't know if we should be doing, like, like violence, guys. And, and then the next thing he has is like, you know what? I'm down with the cause. Let's do some violence. <laughs> And then he gets a, sees that, they're like, and, like and, all, and then, Oliver, and then it cuts, Oliver cut, introduces them. And, and then it cuts to the president, and it's just like, Kotaro, we need to kill the creation king. And then Kotaro's like, fuck off, I need to do my kind of mean. <laughs> the, se- the century king, like, prop is so it cool. Is, it is, it is really cool, but also terrifying to me. Like, like, it, it, it <laughs> reminds me of, uh. The fucking guy from Star Wars. What's his name? Snope? Snoke or whatever his name is? I don't know. I don't remember. That guy. He looks like... He reminds me of him. Just a big dude it, in a chair. It, it reminds... Shit. It kind of reminds me of... I don't know if anyone has seen this, but, like... I, I forgot what the movie was. It, it was a J- James and the Giant Peach. Like, with, like, kind of, like, like oh, stop motion little figures. I know what you're talking about. Like, the spider lady? Yeah. Like, like it kind of yes. reminded me of that. Like, 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 it's so creepy and it looks real. I'm actually... It, it looks so real. A very and cool it, prop. It's so creepy that they, like, they, like, fucking milk it like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have little suckers attached to its body. Got the little, got the, got the blue, got the little blue gel. Oh god! And they eat it, and they eat. That's the worst part that creeps me out. They fucking eat the goop that comes out of them. They, and there's that. So there's that part of episode two where Nobuhiko shows up, and then Kodo was like, "Do you got heaven?" And I felt like he was asking for some to like be able to transform, but then like Nobuhiko doesn't do anything. Like he doesn't like acknowledge his question. He pulls out a thing of the heaven and gives it to the penguin guy. I don't know why. I thought it was just funny that he just ignored him basically, and then gave the thing he asked for to the dead penguin on the ground. Oh my god! They know. they again. Not, not, I know we're not, we're not talking about episode three, but in episode three, like they 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 show off that like the penguin dude was conscious during that entire time, and oh that god. just 
that had me that had me awake at night a little bit, bro. What, just like, he just, like what, he just he was he, he, he was kicked? yeah he was just on the ground just like feeling all of that pain of having his eye popped out of just like oh my oh. goodness. Jeez, does he pop the eye back in? Yeah, I, I, heaven can heal eyes too, I guess. Oh, thank God. He- Maybe I should take some. Heaven be crazy. Eyes over heaven. Eyes is over that the heaven. JoJo thing? I think, yeah, it is. That's a good game. Uh, it's eyes of heaven. That's the game. Yeah, that's the game. Um, I think I, uh, I think we we might have reached our our talking point limit with with we Black might have, Sun. We might have exhausted ourselves. The Black Sun has set. The Shadow Moon has risen, and I'm gonna probably go watch more of the show. <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. You gotta make it to, to so you can see the the reference. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta just yeah. I'll just keep tapping. I'll skip like wake every up, ten seconds. Wake up, wake up. You need to see what happens with Oliver Johnson. I need to. I need to see the transformation. It's so, Black honestly Sun and black and shadow moon. It is the funniest thing to me in this show. Whatever they're like, we need to go. Oliver Johnson. <laughs> I, I love. I love how they say his name. <laughs> it's a little, they got the argument about the art thing and and the, the girl it, comes it's over. It's art. <laughs> Art. I thought I, I you kind of talked about it, like last kind of last point. This is more like a jokey comment. I thought it was kind of funny that you're like, oh yeah, nobody goes the pacifist, and then they meet like Yukari or whatever her name is, and he's just totally into whatever they're doing now. If Yukari like, wants yeah. to kidnap someone, I'll kidnap someone. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I heard uh, the song's good. I haven't, I song. haven't heard. I don't know if they even played it in the episode. Like I was just kind of, I think I was too shocked to hear any song. <laughs> I, I, pa- I immediately pause as soon as I see credits. I'm like, all right, good enough for me. But I've heard good things. I, I, I hear a lot of people say they love the, the song. I love you. I'll probably listen to it after this. You know, maybe, maybe to see if it's good. I don't remember that. You can well. Back. It's 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 been another week of, of college. Yeah, it's been another week of Toku. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been. I remember that another college. I even hear what you said. <laughs> I said I love you. I love you too, Jacob. It's Thanks, been buddy. another week of college <laughs> boy ties. <laughs> I'm losing it. This week sucked. Yeah. God, I hate college. Co- college be rough. College be tough. I'm I, having an outburst at the end of the episode. We, we hope. We hope everyone continues to enjoy watching Geets. Have a happy Halloween. If you watch Black Sun, again, viewer discretion advised. There's a lot of heavy shit. Do whatever you want. Uh, and everyone everyone, have a safe Halloween. Go, I don't know, fuck bitches, get money. Get candy. Get candy, get candy. Um, follow mm. us on Twitter, at guys. So, heck you, baby. Yells their eyes. And let's go. I thought I had it back. Uh, yeah, yeah have, a, have, a, have a good have a good weekend. Have a good we week. We say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>